The Herald has always been the symbolic, what I call the behemoth on the bay. You can't miss it. It stands out in the middle of this growing city as the power to effectuate change. But really, am I going to miss the Herald building? Um, the truth is, it's not the building, it's the people. Remember the uh, Hurricane Andrews? Remember? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, that yeah. we went out and delivered the newspaper yes. to those people yes. that didn't have any. I did too. The house was destroyed. Yes. And I remember that. Yes, I remember that. There and the, uh, do you remember the um, the tornado that the went water through? Spout. Yeah, that went through the Herald from became through the uh, Bay. Uh, yes. Yes. Came Bay. Yes. Yeah, I remember that too. Well, it was always. I worked down here, of course, and so it was always fun to watch. Uh, the porpoises in the water, or, or the animals walk across when the circus came to town, they went across the bridge. Uh, not to mention uh, that commissioner, they, uh, he committed suicide oh, downstairs. Yes, yes, one of the commissioners, Miami commissioners. Uh, what was his right name? Um, I, I forgot. Artur Art Till. You're right. Yes, yes, exactly. Yes, yes. exactly. The Miami Herald has been the place that has in so many ways chronicled Miami. We have told our story day after day. We've written about all the bad things, but all the good things too, from murders to hurricanes to, to the Miami Heat Championship. Uh, we've been a part of this community from day one. Here's the thing we want our community to know is that we are leaving a building, we're not leaving the city, and that we will take those stories with us and we will cover the community in the, with the same depth and commitment that we've always covered it. Uh, the mileage has nothing to do with where our soul is and it is in the city of Miami. This is the scale that Jackie Gleason weighed himself on. So much of the history of the Miami Herald is tied to this building. Um, it was not our first home, um, but it's been our home for a long time, and I think it's been, um, you know, the, the symbolic of what the Miami House meant to this community more broadly. Um, this is where we celebrated Pulitzer Prizes. This is where we think the, the ghost of Gene Miller, our two-time Pulitzer Prize winning uh, uh, reporter and editor, you know, still walks the halls and, and really imbues what we do every day. So the building really signifies the strength of the Miami Herald. And the strength of the Miami Herald is really the people who work here. We have the most committed, passionate newsroom. I'd put them up against anyone, anywhere, who really are committed to what they do, passionate about the work they do, and absolutely coming to work every day, believing that what we do is absolutely essential to democracy. And that's what keeps them coming, day in and day out. One Herald Plaza is a great place. It's been a fun place to work. And as we have changed in the last four or five years, um, with fewer people, with changing technology and so forth, um, it's, it, you know, it, it really becomes readily apparent that we need to move to something that is more efficient for us, uh, more right size for us, puts us in a slightly different part of the, of the, of the county, but leaves us in Miami-Dade, where we are, you know, in many ways, the heart and soul of, of, of many of our readers. We love the old building, but you know what? It's the, it's the way people do their work, it's how they do their work, it's how they handle their craft that really makes us special. And no matter where we are, that will continue. Okay, can everybody hear me okay? Clap your hands twice. Yay. Uh, can the shorter people come toward the front, just like in grade school? Don't go beyond the post. Shift to the right. This way. Banner to the right. This way. Camera right. Moving physically is a milestone to us. 
But what I like to remind our folks is that this newspaper company was in business for 60 years before we came to this current location. And now we spent the last 50 years east on the bay in Miami, and we're preparing to have another phase of our life in yet another location. And that facility will be excellent. It will be a wonderful place to, to fulfill our, our mission of becoming a modern media company. But we do realize that there's a lot of sentiment wrapped up in this place that we've been for the last 50 years. And what I would say to that is a building is a building. What makes the Miami Herald and El Nuevo Herald are its people. And its people are just as engaged and excited about producing world-class media as they've ever been. And they will do that with excellence in a brand new facility. Yeah, I might miss the view a little bit. Uh, especially a day after the boat show where the parade of yachts is going outside my window, but uh, maybe it'll cut down a little bit on daydreaming time. Maybe I'll get a little more work done. <laughs>